going on everyone, Juicebex here, and welcome to some Astroneer. This is my uh, first Let's Play that I've done on the channel in quite some time, and Astroneer was a game that definitely showed some potential, and I wanted to uh, definitely hop in and check it on out. Now, uh, let's go ahead and just take off here and get this thing started. Now, this is not a completely blind playthrough. I have, I did pop in and kind of check out the controls, plus I, uh, I also did watch a few other uh, first day videos and stuff like that. So I know kind of the basics. We need compound and resin is the, ooh, landed right next to a big ass tree. Look at that. Compound and resin are the big enchiladas. And would you look at all that compound right there? And I got some resin just right, right up the road there. Not too shabby. So let's just go ahead and start sucking this up. Now, I don't know if it was uh, deceiving and thinking so or what, but it seems like it seems like people had issues with compound the most right out of the gates. I don't know if it's just so much compound was required or what the case is, but it seemed like everybody had compound issues. So I am gonna get. I'm gonna every time I see compound, basically I'm gonna suck it up just because. Like I said, from, from the videos I looked at, let's create a solar panel. It'll help me out on this first day farming quite a bit. Anyway, from what I've seen, it just it really just seems like compound is uh, the resource. Now, of course, we got so we got compound and resin that are upstairs, and then once we go down into a cave, we can get uh, copper and some different fuels and other random stuff. But uh, I am gonna. Like I said, I, I'm not going to go shy with the compound. I'm going to suck that shit up all over the place. As, like I said, I don't know if it's just me or what, but it just really looked like every single playthrough, people were hurting for compound. Now, it's not like I watched a, p a bunch of them, but I did watch the first days of like two or three different people. And uh, all of them ended up going on compound searches. Alright, so now we are actually full, so I'm going to have to dump some of this compound off. And then I see, I think that's resin right in the distance. Now one uh, one thing that definitely makes Astroneer easier is everything is color-coded pretty well. Now this, of course, is an experiment. I don't know. If the wind comes, is this stuff going to get blown away? I am unsure. I'm going to just leave it all right here on the ground for right now and then get out there and get some of that resin lovely little uh, biome what, what do we got here a bunch of golf balls giant golf balls all stacked up anyway it's definitely a it's you know once again I didn't watch a lot of videos but I don't think I saw anybody land in a little biome or whatever quite this colorful it's definitely a I don't know. Is that a good thing? Is it a bright, cheery place? Or is it like a place that's just doomed to hell? I don't really know. So what, I need like three or four resin to get my first little expansion on the base up. And I think I want to open up, what, research first? And maybe smelting? I guess smelting doesn't matter until I get... Uh, down into a cave somewhere and can get some good stuff. How we doing? We're kind of getting a little low on oxygen. Now I am just digging the hell out of my own backyard right here. Good gosh. See, do I want to make some tethers? I need just a little bit more resin, I think. Grab a little of this power here too and uh, see if that'll help me out sucking this resin up in a timely manner if there's anything left down here. There's got to be. There's got to be something left. Is there any more? Doesn't look like it, huh? Hmm. Man, that is a big asshole. You know, one of these days, it's probably going to be the most pointless endeavor ever. But you know that one of these days, I am going to have to dig through the planet. <laughs> Supposedly, that is actually a, a possibility. <laughs> You can actually dig through the planet. <laughs> All right, so let's see here. I got some resin now, so I want to extend this out. 
Now how do I get it to come out further than that? I want it to come out here. Is that not going to happen? Hmm. Oh, oh, there we go. Well, I guess that's as far as it'll go. But that's alright. I'll take it. And uh, what do I want to do here? I want to put my other two resin... I want to put my last other two resin in there. There we go. Now, what do I want this to be? See, we got printer. There's research, and I do have the compound, a smelter as well. So I think uh, I'm going to go with just go with research first. And where did I leave that compound at? There it is. I'm going to snag a little bit more of this. Like I said, I'm not sure if it's going to disappear just laying on the ground there. So I don't want to risk it for too long. Let's see. So I'm assuming I'm going to have to put the, the compound in the, in the little holes there. Yeah? All right. Yeah, there we go. And here is my first expansion, the research facility. No power. Hmm, do we want to power it now? I'm wondering if uh, one of those little junky solar panels will be worth putting on it. What the hell, let's give it a shot. I'm actually at the solar panels already now. Yeah, it made me another solar panel. I don't even know, do I need another solar panel right away? Let's see, let's, uh, is that powering it up? Well, there's no sun right now. So I guess I'm going to have to wait and uh, see what happens there with the sun. Now i got all this compound in this hole here. I'm going to dig it up and then maybe fill this hole in. I can't believe there was this much just right here. Just tons. Uh-oh. Out of juice. No juice again? What? Am I going to run out of oxygen? No, i got a ton of oxygen. Then I am right there. I mean, I can probably reach a tether just by... Yeah, without even getting out of the hole, I'm at a tether. Now, I wish the sun would come back up. I need to definitely come up with another way to power the suit. Because this relying on the hole, relying on the sunshine is not getting the job done for me, unfortunately. This is one big asshole full of, uh, full of compound, though. There's no doubt about that. Now, of course, I don't have any other holes to refer it to quite yet, but it seems like a big asshole full of compound, that's for damn sure. How are we on oxygen? Let me come back over here. Now, how the hell am I going to get out of this hole is another question altogether. <laughs> uh, that's going to be very ugly if I can't get out of this damn hole. <laughs> Come on, sunshine. Is the sun almost up, for God's sakes? Because let me tell you, the the bottomless pit of compound here has got no signs of, of letting up here, so I need to get some juice. Oh, damn, I'm actually out of space already. Holy crap. Let's see. Can I get up there? No. Make myself a little ramp here. Man, I'm going to have some massive filling in to do here afterwards. Look at all this compound. Holy crap. I actually wasn't out of space yet. I thought I was. Alright, come on, sunshine. Get to kicking here. Is that power? Yeah, it is. See, like I mentioned earlier, it's kind of convenient the way everything is color-coded. Good lord, that is a lot of stuff in that hole. Look at it all. This is insanity. So much for my theory. Oh, look at all that resin right there. Man, I got, I got a pretty lucky spawn here, I think. It seems like it anyway. I'm just... Got stuff all over the place. Alright, we got the sun coming out. I got a bucket full of compound here. Yeah, so I am wondering uh, if that stuff is going to blow away with me leaving it sitting there. And I'm also wondering, like, if I dug a big-ass hole, 
and just threw that in there, is that like storage? <laughs> is the stuff gonna stay in the big asshole? <laughs> this is clearly a big asshole right here. But that's that's I think that might be too big of a hole. Too big of a big asshole. How we come in here? It looks like that is it. The big asshole of doom has been fully excavated, I believe. Let's see how long I, I want to. I don't want to leave this absurd hole right here. I'm gonna say it's gonna take me like a month and a half to fill this whole hole in, though, isn't it? I'm not sure either how well the smooth feature works. Well, I guess only one way to find out here. So we get this hole filled in a little bit. I'll try to use it. Good lord. Man. I can't have all these big assholes right here by my crib. That ain't right. Seems like kind of a waste of power to sit here and fill them all in, but like I said, I'm not having it right here by spawn. That's just that would be a bit of an eyesore for me to look at every day. I think I'm always going to have some sort of an eyesore here. I don't think I'm going to be able to get it smoothed in fully. Wow, that's a shitload of dirt. Dope. Oh, oh, oh! What the hell? Did I bury myself? I buried myself! There we go. <laughs> oh, man. Watch out for burying yourself. Good lord, that would have been bad. I survived this terrible spaceship crash. I go around with no oxygen, and then I bury myself in a big pile of dirt. All right, let's look at that smooth. Hmm. The smooth feature is questionable. <laughs> that's all right. That's going to do it for now. So, all right, let's see here. So now, okay, I got all this compound. I got, I don't have anything to research yet. So let's get, let's get some more. Good Lord, man. Look at all this compound I got in there. Get some of this resin and uh, expand out just a little bit more. And then, uh, I guess, make some tethers and go for it. See what I run into here. I just I got kind of an abundance of resources right here at the spawn, which was kind of lucky. Kind of lucky. There's actually four resin right there. That was nice. And there's more. There's more! Oh, yeah. Very, very nice. Come on, resin. St keep coming. There it is. Keep coming. I know you're in there. Ooh. Good lord. I hit the jackpot. It's the mother load. I'm going to have another big asshole to fill in, though. Right here by the by the crib. All right. I think that's actually probably good. Oh, man. I did a terrible job filling that hole. Look at that thing. <laughs> uh, that is ugly. Let's check out that smooth thing again. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know if I'm a fan of the smooth feature. Hmm. Guess it wasn't terrible. Did better than I did. <laughs> Alright, so what did we want to do? I want something else. So we got the... What was this? This was a research. So I'm going to need to add like a smelter or something like that. I'm going to come right back off this way. Now how did I do that? There it is. Oh, look at that. Self-smoothing. Awesome. Alright. Let's see. Let's get this built out. And what is this one going to be again? I can't remember. I think the smelter is what I wanted it to be. See, there's printer. Gots to get me a printer. And I already got research, so let's... Oh, I need two compound. Do I have it? Yeah, I do. All 
There we go. And ba bam We got a smelter. Very, very nice. So we're, uh, that was a productive first day. It's not too shabby. Got, uh, got a smelter in place. Got a research facility. I'm ready to start doing a little exploration. I got a whole bunch of compound here. As I, like I said, I really thought that, uh, compound was going to be the, the resource to have. But, uh, anyway, that is going to do it for now. We'll be back soon with some more Astroneer. See y'all. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, here's a couple more you might like. Support the Juicy Nation by becoming a patron or mash that big J to subscribe to the channel. Thanks again. There's more action tower defense strategy, playthroughs, and awesome gaming hotness coming soon. See ya.